Hello my dear students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Land. Today we are going to discuss the most amazing topic, order and molecularity from Chemical Kinetics grade 12 and you can expect one question from Chemical Kinetics from the NEET examination based on order and molecularity. It is a simple concept but lot of confusions in the students mind. So what are they? We are going to unfold in today's class, stay tuned and before going for the session, I just want to say a score examination. It is India's largest scholarship examination. Why it is India's largest scholarship examination? Because this scholarship examination provides you the scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees. Yes, it is true. That is why we say India's largest scholarship exam and you also given according to your performance basis, study setup and laptop and educational allowances and also up to 100% scholarship based on the score you are going to get and opting for a particular course and while at description box link is available and just click that and enroll your form and enjoy this score examination and one more important thing to write this score examination you may be related to a student of infinity learn or you may be from other colleges or any institute still you are eligible to write and uh, one more thing this score examination is purely online you can sit at your home and you can write your score examination all the best in the description box link is there and uh, enjoy all the privileges from the score and also very important thing and 2025 all india need to test series pack whenever you are preparing for an examination it is important to just check yourself how you are doing and that can be done by using your test prep package and this test prep package it includes 27 AITS examination is 13 unit test 4 part test and 10 grant test behave and it is purely based on neat pattern and the 20 online neat full syllabus mock test and also 25 neat topic wise PYQs and uh, 3 physics chemistry biology books along with the solutions on the app and uh, detailed solutions and performance report from each and every test and also but last but not least your performance is benchmarked with Sri Chaitanya students so that your prediction of the score can be easy and while yet enroll now the cost is 5999 on the special discount a limited time period once you apply the coupon code youtube 50 off when you apply this coupon code automatically you are going to get 50 percent uh, discount tabhi aapko 2999 ko milega while it in the description box link is available just click it and uh, try to enjoy this test series pack can help you for benefit of the betterment of your neat examination all the best and today's class of interest is about chemical kinetics order and molecularity. So consider a reaction A moles of A gives rise plus B moles of B gives rise C moles of C and D moles of D in this hypothetical reaction rate law expression is given as rate is directly proportional to A to the power X and B to the power of Y. Why this is X and Y here A and B? Yes, experimentally it is found that exponents x and y may or may not be equal to the a and b that are given in the stoichiometric balanced equation. So that is the first mistake the students are going to do by looking at the chemical reaction balanced chemical reaction please do not write the rate expression in order of a reaction. So it is experimentally x and y are experimentally determined and based on that rate is equal to k a to the power x and b to the power of y this is called rate law expression. In that rate law expression it is rate is equal to dx by dt is equal to k a to the power x and uh, b to the power of y and k is called specific rate constant which is a measure of the speed of a reaction. And when you talk about this uh, rate law expression k is equal to uh, rate is equal to k of a to the power x and b to the power of y we can say x is the order with respect to, to a and y is the order with respect to, to b and x plus y is said to be overall order of a reaction. The overall order of a reaction is experimentally determined and that is the actual behavior of the speed deciding chemical reaction 
and also and the sum of the powers of the concentration of the reactants in the rate law expression is called as order of a reaction you just simply say a plus b is not the order of a reaction rather you can say x plus y is the order of a reaction students and also order of the reaction can be zero or can be one two and uh, any fraction number is also possible and you can see units of the rate constant is based on the order of a reaction you can see rate is equal to k a to the power of x and b to the power of y and k is equal to rate by a to the power of x and b to the power of y is equal to concentration per time that is for rate and into 1 by concentration to the power n where n is equal to x plus y where n is equal to order of a reaction and based on this you can have the order uh, rate constant for various orders for zero order you are going to see more liter inverse and second inverse for the first order you can see just second inverse and for the second order you can see mole inverse liter second inverse and based on this units you, you will be having one multiple choice question from the neat examination it is simply analytical and you can just go through this slide and you can just crack that kind of questions by looking at that k value you don't say by looking at the dimension of the k you can say what is the order of a reaction and also you can say molecularity and you know when the reaction taking place making a collision between the reactant molecules i just want to say uh, the number of reacting species that are making a collision in a single step of a reaction is called as a molecularity and uh, molecularity is simply theoretical and uh, it can be one or two or three it cannot be zero it cannot be greater than zero and you can say rate determining step you just take in the consideration of the molecularity for unimolecular these are the example cyclopropane is converted into cyclopropene and ozone decomposition and n2o5 decomposition is a unimolecular reaction let's talk about the bimolecular reaction two reactant molecules are involved and uh, two reactant molecules are involved bimolecular you can also say termolecular so 2NO plus O2 gives us 2NO2 sometimes molecularity can be equal to order okay but may not be equal as well so let's see the difference between the order and the molecularity and molecularity is the number of reacting species that are making a collision in the rate determining step whereas order of a reaction is the sum of the powers of the exponents present in the rate law expression and order can be zero or any integer or can be a fraction but here molecularity is always a whole number either one two three greater than three is not possible less than one zero is not possible fractional is not possible it is derived from rate determining step rds whereas it is derived from rate law expression and it is experimental and molecularity is theoretical and while the reactions with the molecularity is greater than four is not possible and the reactions with greater than four are also possible but they are rare in the case and Molecularity is independent on any other factors like temperature and pressure, but the order can change if the pressure and temperature is changed. And these are the six differences between the order and the molecularity. Today, we discussed about uh, the main case of what is order and the conditions for to say that and the rate like expressions on the unit for the rate constant based on the order and actually molecularity and the differences between order and the molecularity. Stay tuned for such type of sessions and every day I come up with kind of a short type of important kind of topics in stay tuned in my sessions and enjoy your neat exam preparation all the best my dear students please like our session and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you.